Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support. Um, being able to share these videos to know that it's helping people in one way or another is truly a blessing for me. And I'm going to keep on posting these until, you know, the universe allows me to stop stop posting <laughs> so uh, anyways uh with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know i'm about to upload my next video also um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also um if you feel like the uh videos have been very informative to you or even gave you good vibes uh that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a uh, fellow empath that are going through trying times and need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support it's truly appreciated and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today and today my video is about twin flame 101 uh, oh i'm sorry my uh meditation music i'm listening to in the background before i give my content title uh is 396 hertz cleanse fear and guilt and root chakra helping i mean heal healing sleep meditation nine hours 444 hertz music that's like the second one i've done it had 444 hertz so you know some must be having it behind the scenes and stuff we're not you know we're not uh, you know we're not sure yet but anyways my video today is about twin flame 101 when you start realizing in your journey that you weren't made to fit in it it can be really uh you know trying to you when you're going through different things in your life um you know especially with me growing up i was like a my only child you know i had my brothers and sisters but um it was just the fact that they were so much older than me my my sister was like married and stuff and her husband was in the military and you know she would come to visit every once in a while but i was always to myself you know my mom always caught me like talking to my make-believe friends especially around one it got really bad when i was like four or five years old or my mom or even there's times that i remember like you know staring you know in my room just sitting there looking at the wall and just talking and my mom was like who are you over there talking to <laughs> you know and it would just be so weird but my mom was you know in her way empath as well and people always used to tell her you know they she used to freak people out because she had this pretty melanin skin you know like morris chestnut but she had eyes of a wolf like her eyes were like sky blue and it was really crazy and stuff like that you know to where as she passed away doctors and stuff call start calling and asking if i can donate her eyes to science so like hell no that's freaky why would you even ask me that you know and they were like well we never seen an african-american like that or whatever but you know not to get thrown off the subject but my mom had beautiful eyes but she you know it was good for her to not you know think that my differentness was like um you know you know mentally something was wrong with me you know because I would do that at school I would like have one best friend it was just like because the fact is our both of our parents were in the military and it was like I think our parents were doing like the buddy move because every time we got stationed somewhere they were too and I was so happy about that but it was just like I always stayed to myself you know being able to remember going through the different villages and stuff of Germany and you know just going up and just talking to people and they were always giving me free stuff like my mom would always use me because she would always get free stuff she's like anytime i take you somewhere they always think you're so cute want to take pictures of you and they always get we always just get hooked up with free stuff just because we had you around so i was just i'm gonna start making you know making sure that you know i just have you there but it's just like growing up you know i always saw myself as being different and I never knew why. There were certain things that were very unpleasant for me to see. I used to see people's face like morphing in front of me. And you know, it really would freak me out. There would be people, I would hear them crying. Even though they had smiles on their face, I can hear them crying. And I'll just go up to them and give them big hugs and stuff like that. And um, they were like, 
you know, and I'll go up to them and I'll hold their hand. And mind you, I'm like four years old. And, you know, I was just like, your, your, your heart's crying. So, you know, I thought you needed a hug. And they're looking like, oh, my mom was like, they're not crying. I said, mom, just because you can't hear it or see it doesn't mean it's not there. And my mom used to look at me like, you know, she, she acts like an old woman, you know. Um, but it's like as your days, you know, from adolescence, and you notice that things are very different for you. Um, a lot of times, you know, especially growing up as a kid, you, you would want to be normal. And, you know, it would lead up to a lot of questions. Sometimes you have more questions than answers growing up. And, you know, with me dealing with my situation, I always knew there was always like a weird connection. I would have you know, very scary experiences just for you being an empath as a child. We see a lot of things that others don't see. So I would get constantly freaked out, especially being in Germany, because there's a lot of places that, you know, especially before our time, well, this, this life, but past lives, I can, you know, I always love going to castles, but there was just certain ones I wouldn't go into, you know, um, we would always go, you know, sightseeing through different villages and stuff like that. And it would just be so beautiful just because of the, I think it's cobblestone. I think that's what it is. Um, Gabriel, if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Because it's like the streets were all made of this. It looks like little bricks in the road. It wouldn't actually be pavement, but it was like bricks. And I used to love those because I felt like they held memories. And I used to always tell them, you know, my mom would like to pick flowers from there. And I'm like, mom, you know, uh, from where the castles and stuff were. And I said, mom, don't touch those. You know, you don't want to bring that back with us. And she was like, what are you talking about? I said, bad things happen here. You know, whatever you took from there, it, it follows you with you. My mom dropped that mess so quick. She's like, look, <laughs> she only got to tell me one good time. But it's just like going on your different, you know, journeys and quests throughout your life, finding yourself. You know, you tend to learn, you know, even though we, we are as soldiers, light workers, indigos, you know, twin flames, heokas, all of our different spiritual tribes, you know, we really took a beating you know throughout life and it, it it's just like your story you know your experiences you know you never know how much it can help somebody and it was just like we were born here never to fit in you know we went through so much hell and there's a lot of times you you ask god why did you allow these things to happen and it can be very sad it can be very traumatic but it's like the things had to happen for you for you to be able to tell and help heal other people you know that's what we're doing it's like saving souls and it's just like I used to always ask myself that why did this happen happen why did I have to go do so much hell you know and it was just like well you always ask since you know I was a little girl I always wanted to help the world some kind of way just being able to put that light in somebody's heart that you know that smile on somebody's face you know let them feel love when they're when you feel there's no love around and it would you know it would melt my heart like I would cry as a little girl even I was like y'all know I get emotional now there's every once in a while y'all see me doing a, a video and then tears start coming up feeling that lump in my throat because it allowed me to feel a lot of things and there's a lot of times you know being four or five years old you know hugging people and it's like I can see what happened it could be abuse um one man um I remember and I asked him, he was standing there waiting for, I guess it was like the bus or something like that, or it was a train, I can't really remember. But, and I, you know, I tugged on his jacket and I was like, excuse me, sir, you know, I said, you mind if I give you a hug? And, it, and I was like, don't worry, she's always with you. And my mom was like, what are you, what are you talking about? And he was like, you know, he looked kind of confused. And, you know, I guess his mom or his sister had passed away and I said, she's always with you. And, you know, there's no way I should have been able to know stuff like that. And, you know, I said, can I give you a hug? Because she wanted me to do this. And it was just like my mom would get all emotional. And my mom's like, you know, look, you about to get kidnapped. <laughs> you keep on hugging folks like this. And it was just like, you know, my mom, they always used to tell my mom, she, you know, you have a precious child here. You know, she shouldn't be able to know things like this. And it's just like, I've been that way ever since you know, growing up. And I, I think it was very strong. We were, it was like your empath state of mind is very potent when you're a child because it's like you see past things. We have a big imagination. You know, we, we see things that others can't see. We, we are very in detail with certain things that, you know, they're very open to us that are, might not be open to other people as adults. So it's just like when we go through life, you know, it can really hit us in the most tumultuous way. 
And, you know, and there's a lot of times we go through stuff and we feel like, you know, is this going to ever end? You know, why do I feel so much pain? Why do I have to see so much pain? It's, it's like, you know, there's some people that are not spiritually gifted like us. They always tell me, you know, they're, well, not always, but I've heard often, you know, I wish I was like that. I said, no, the hell you don't. He <laughs> I said, you do not want to do that. Don't even wish that on yourself. I mean, it's a beautiful thing to experience, but it's just the downside of feeling everything around you. And it's just like, I, when I start, first started going through this awakening and, you know, God is like flip that switch throughout my heart and my soul. I cried a lot because I felt everything around me, you know, spitting out people's thoughts, you know, sitting in a room by myself and like pulling my hair out and screaming. You know, like, make these voices go away. I don't like this. You know, that's why I forever stayed high. You know, it was just too much for me to have to deal with. But now when I've gotten more control of it and know that, you know, if it switches off like that, I know it's not my thoughts because it was kind of scary. You know, I could be happy one minute and next, you know, I'm pissed the next. And then, you know, feeling so many things breaking my heart at one time, you know, or blurting out people's thoughts. It can be very, you know, a very tragic you know, situation to be able to go through, but know that you weren't made for that. You weren't made to be like everybody else, you know, and it could be sad when you don't fit in with other people, but you weren't made to do that. You know, they broke the mold when they made you, you know, so never allow yourself to feel like you need to fit in with anybody. You know, never tell, you know, allow nobody to ever feel like, you know, there's something wrong with you. There, There's a lot of things that's right about you that they just are not aware of. So allow yourself to grow see things that are not so pretty to be able to convert them into beautiful things you know seeing if you know if there's the things that you can change you know apply your own little magic to it and you know make it grow so you know i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video you know um know that all the things that you're currently going through that may be very hard hard to deal with or you know you feel like you, you can't even stay above water knowing these 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 trials will soon be over. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. And I would love to say uh, post a notification out to Kelly Borton. Much love to you. Uh, let Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. You know, if you're going through really trying things right now, I send my heart and my love and light towards your way to ease your mind and give you the most uplifting vibes you can possibly have. You know, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. You know, share. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better, day, better days. And I pray that everything that you're thriving for comes and blossoms in your life as soon as possible. And send out as much love and light and po positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.